What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. YouTube subscribers count so what we are doing so we will use an ESP 826601 module to find out your number of subscription from YouTube so for this project what we need we need one 16 cross 2 LCD with its I2C driver means this one it is in 16 cross 2 LCD I2C driver Okay, this one. One ESP eight two double six zero one. And to program this board, we need this programming module. If you don't have this one, you can use uh, your manual by putting your GPIO zero to ground first and programming it and then after you can disconnect it from the um, ground so to program this or to connect this one with your computer I am using a USB to TTL converter which is having 5 volt and 3 volt conversion so let's start making our circuit let's connect this one okay. let me disconnect it so here you need VCC crown and TX and RX your ground is first pin this one then your VCC then your TX then RX so in the same manner you will connect your ground to your last pin and your VCC RX TX See. RX and TX this is your circuit so let's use one small breadboard fine and to connect your I2C LCD I am using four connector connectors then here I am using your GPIO2 as your SDA pin and 0 as your what as your SCL and SDA is your serial data line and SCL is your serial clock line then you need to provide and you need to provide your first one is your ground so connect it with your ground then your VCC 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 you need to provide 5 volt to your LCDs so we will take 5 volt from your USB port oh sorry USB to TTL conversion board then your SD and SCL so SDA of your LCD will connect to GPIO 2 
and SCL, SCL will be connected to GPIO 0 that's all now this is your circuit part so this is your circuit part it's over we have connected LCD your ESP8266 01 with your TTL converter for power supply and programming this code after programming you can take out this power supply uh, sorry your TX and RX pin with your VCC and ground and you can provide this external power supply where you, you are using a transformer then your rectifier and using a triple one seven three point three volt conversion and a seven eight zero five for your LCD part and for your uh, ESP eight two double six zero one part you can provide this external power supply and you can make this project as your standalone one so let's program or upload the code and we need to connect it in programming mode for this we need to click your reset pin once then your GPIO 0 then leave your G reset then your GPIO 0 leave your GPIO 0 pin so it is in programming mode then go to your program open it check the board here the board will be your generic ESP8266 module then your com port which in which your ESP or your TTL is con connected so mine is com5 so I have chosen this one then upload your code so let's wait for some time So basically for this in the software section you need uh, your google uh, api key and putting the link in the description so you can uh, go there and you can create your own api key and uh, the second part is you need your youtube channel name or your id so you will uh, put in your code and so all you need to put here you can find it this one and this one so I will put all the uh, details in the description link please download it It's taking too much time to upload, but we will wait for it. Now, see, let's start uploading. Fine, as soon as you uh, done with your uploading, your ESP will start connecting to your home Wi Fi network, which cre credential you have given in the code then it will go to your api key verifies it then it will go to your channel id or your channel name then it will fetch the number of subscriptions and it will try to display in the lcd so it's done see here you can see that now it's connecting and this is your local IP then it will fetch your number of subscriptions so that you can just go see 
reduces your number of subscriptions. Sorry, this is my subscription. Okay, let me restart once again.